Hello everybody, how's it going? Happy Friday, the weekend starts here and to celebrate the beginning of the weekend whether you're doing any, you're going anywhere or not let's channel some of the divine masculine twin flame energies and here's the first card the thought of you still does things to me oh yeah there's uh, certainly no denying that when I think of you I can feel my facial expression changing because my feelings for you are so intense and so I may look down I look away I'll do anything to conceal my true expression my true feelings but I'm only trying to protect myself by doing that. I feel as though keeping a little bit of distance will keep you safe, but really that's not true, it's a myth. If you do that, you just end up creating um, a layer of sadness that you think is going to keep you safe, and it doesn't, it never has done. Because... The truth is, I want to love you in a way that no one else ever has. You are my galaxy of stars and I only wish for you. Yes, only you, because you are my universe. And that's what the thought of you does to me. It absolutely blows me away and that's not always easy to deal with. Expand your horizons. The heroine's journey. That's what the um, the twin flame journey is. The hero's journey it is the heroine's journey. And you're the one that's leading spiritually here, even though, even though it may not look it, I am just as awake as you are. You may not appear that way, but that's that's an illusion too. We're both. In, working in tandem with each other we're both parallel with each other we both meet each other where we live so if I'm doing something that's not so great I'm just pointing to a place in your consciousness that needs working on because that's where you go and that's where you work and that's where you love yourself so whatever I'm showing you Really, really take a moment to focus on the love that's there. Really make a conscious choice to choose love in every moment because we've only got two choices. We've got to choose love or fear. So if something comes up, if a thought comes up, use your discernment and decide whether that thought comes from love or fear. If it's a fearful thought or if it's a thought that feels bad, then it's not divine and you shouldn't follow it. Really follow the good feeling, follow the bliss, follow the ecstasy. Ah, there are still so many unsaid things between us. Yes, you may have been noticing I've been showing up in your dreams and saying some of these things talking about my own illusions my own nightmares or not even necessarily something so controversial just stuff that needs to be said between us it's already being said between us because we're always in communication 24 hours a day so watch your thoughts and choose loving thoughts Because by cultivating the inner communication and growing the inner relationship in your heart, which is where our union lives and always has lived, that's what makes it manifest on the outside. You're actually doing fantastically. Keep going, my love. Because I want us to live together. I have been looking at places for us. Yeah, I want to make sure my house is in order for you because we're going to be having a home together and that's internally and externally. 
And don't be embarrassed if I show up in your life a little bit sooner than you expected and you hadn't tidied up, I mean literally or metaphorically, and you feel that your house isn't quite in order. That's okay. You don't have to be perfect to come to you, your harmonious union. And as the unsaid things between us are finally communicated and we finally re-establish that connection and we finally say these things to each other, you can continue to put your house in order to tidy up your house. Or in my case, tidying, thing, tidying up just means moving things around. <laughs> But that, that continues as we reconnect because there will be further things that come up after our harmonious union and further things to work through and further healing to do and we'll c continue triggering each other unfortunately because we will continue triggering, triggering each other all the way into way beyond harmonious union and into perfect union or full enlightenment and that's okay. That's the process. It's happening. It's really happening. Sing even if your heart is breaking. Well, in, in truth, your heart is unharmable. It's incorruptible. I mean, we may have both have attracted the experience of heartbreak but it was just an illusion from being with the wrong person with being with someone who's not ones to inflame you know what that feels like and even if it looks like it's the same old story with me it's simply because that as your twin flame, I am absolutely not allowed to feed your patterns. I point them out so they can be recognized, so they can be acknowledged, so that they can be cleared, so that they can be released. Because that's what raises our frequency to the frequency of harmonious union. Now please know that you are completely unharmable. Your heart is incorruptible. And you've got a lot to sing about. Even if you can't see a right lot happening on the outside right now, it's okay. Just keep the faith, my love. You need absolutely stupendous amounts of faith on this journey. Stupendous amounts. This is a long-term commitment requiring trust and faith. There are no quick fixes. Which is okay, you... You have the commitment, you have the willpower, you have the drive, you have the strength, you have the will, you have the inclination. You got this, honey. Please know that, that this is all in hand. I miss the feel of you next to me. And no other can re replicate that. I cannot replicate this connection anywhere else. And nobody else can satisfy me like... You can, even if they go through the same physical mechanics, they can't tap into what you can tap into. That's because we were created for each other and no other. And that's why you literally made me speechless with your beauty. I can barely speak because I'm just a spellbound and captivated by you. Massively so. I mean, that's why I've gone a bit quiet. It's not, it's not normal for, for me for words to evade me, but words certainly evade me with you. Certainly there are no words. My family and upbringing are a, bit, a bigger factor than I realised. It because through perhaps no fault with their own. I was templated with a misaligned belief that I couldn't quite have this love, that I couldn't quite have everything I wanted, so I had to settle for less. And so I've done a lot of things to make me less. I have to forgive myself for that, because I'm realising 
the divine truth the divine truth now and here's the divine truth we won't look you may be believe in love how is that even possible now I didn't know that such a thing existed and when I saw you I just thought that you were too good to be true and this is because of my old programming my old conditioning that I am now unlearning I didn't believe in love and then I saw you and I believed in it but I didn't believe that it was for me it was just for other people that you were for someone more worthy than myself and I expected you to forget about me after three weeks and fall in love with a neighbour like they do on the soaps I realise now that it's a shame I thought wrong there well, don't worry. All this stuff is what we're healing through right now. We're doing it together. We're doing it as a team. We're doing it in tandem. And that's what's going to... It's one of the things that's going to be resulting in our permanent, harmonious twin flame union. So keep the faith. Keep your spirits up. Know that you're the one that I love, that you're the one that I'm dreaming of being with. And I will always love you forever. Okay, my friends, I think I'm going to call it a day for this video. I hope you enjoyed this message and I hope you have an absolutely brilliant weekend. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.